Growing up, Paul Wahlberg spent a lot of time in the kitchen with his mother, and his love for food was inspired by their family meals. Knowing he wanted to cook for a living, his first job as an adult was at Trolley's near Boston Garden, and then the Bell in Hand and Sean's. Eventually, he took a position at Bridgman's in Hall, became an executive chef, and after nine years, it was time to venture out on his own. Along with his partners, Paul opened up Ama Nove in Hingham, a tribute to the family matriarch, which continues to be well-received today. But Paul and the partners always dreamed about owning a burger restaurant, because as he says, Ama Nove was the food that he liked to cook. But what became Wahlburgers? That was the food he loved to eat. That first restaurant opened in 2011 next door in Hingham. Wahlburgers offers a unique service model, a hybrid of fast casual and full service, making it very approachable to guests of all ages. It is a fun environment and menu, one that has many details that are representative of the Wahlberg family, their Boston heritage, and their individual food favorites. The Triple Decker pays homage to growing up in a three-floor house in Dorchester with his nine siblings. The Walbruski Draft Beer is brewed by Harpoon specifically for Wahlburgers. There is an adult frap called the Fluffanetta. And of course, there is the government cheese on the signature burgers, which Paul says is a constant reminder of where they came from. And that will never leave the Wahlburgers menu. Today, there is a fourth location to open shortly in the Boston area. 24 restaurants total, and a pipeline of franchise commitments that totals 167 in the US and Canada, with 75 locations in Europe and the Middle East. That fact amazes Paul, but he insists that the success is not due to him. Rather, it is all about the team and great leaders, helping him to replicate and spread the vision and culture to deliver the best customer experience. His highest compliments are for those on the front lines at the restaurants, as he believes he would have a lonely job without the message they deliver to each guest. From the west end of Boston, to Hull, to Hingham, and now across the country and the world, Paul has always worked very hard to help support his team and provide them with the opportunities to grow their careers. And about those partners, one of them has something he would like to say. Hey guys, Mark Wahlberg here, and I would like to say thank you to the Massachusetts Restaurant Association for naming Wahlberg as its limited service restaurant of the year. It's where we started and we appreciate all of the hometown love and support. God bless you guys and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the 2018 Limited Service Restaurant Tour of the Year, Paul Wahlberg.